Welcome back guys to another beer review. I've just got it from work and I'm going to do a cheeky beer review. Uh, beer coming up is uh, from Theakston and it's a bottle of their Old Peculiar Legendary Ale coming in at 5.6% in a 500ml bottle. This was £1.49 from Lidl's. Uh, I've actually done this before uh, but I've done it as a written review when I was just, before I had YouTube I was doing that. Uh, I set up my own little sort of uh, Facebook page, which is all the beer no idea now. Uh, just doing written reviews, so uh, I thought it'd be good to pick it up and actually do a video review of it. Uh, from what I recall, I really enjoyed it, so that's the reason I want to do it. I just hope that maybe my tastes haven't changed or it wasn't as good as I thought or something. So uh, yeah, so there we go. I do like the label, uh, very sort of traditional sort of thing. Uh, let's have a look at the old bottle cap and see which way up it is. Is there? I don't know if you can get that there. Don't know. Not very good at doing these bits. Uh, so yeah, uh, cold filtered and unpasteurized. So uh, I am looking forward to this, uh, and hopefully you guys out there are as well, because it's something a little bit different. I don't do enough of these, maybe sort of traditional sort of ales and that, and the cheaper ones that we can all pick up. Uh, readily available uh, so yeah let's get it out of this bottle get it into a glass see what we get Try and give it a bit of a swirl I don't know if I'm gonna get it all in I don't think I am so there we go in a glass typical sort of ale looking color that's a chest it's chestnut in color it looks a lot blacker on there chestnut in color a good finger of foamy tan head uh, looks as expected I can't see any sort of carbonation in there so hopefully I've left myself a bit of room to give it a swirl and get this big fucking uter in there malty sweet it's got sweetness to it toffee notes or toffee caramel maybe a, a hint of chocolate in there as well it smells good it smells it smells a little bit different actually from most sort of ales that you can pick up uh, this does smell a little bit richer maybe a little bit sweeter on the nose as well so uh, without further ado let's get this down my neck see what we get cheers everyone Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, not disappointed. Uh, not as much chocolate in it as I sort of remember, but there is. Uh, first thing I got, you do get that sort of ale taste to it. That was sort of, along with a real lovely toffee caramel taste to it was the first thing I picked up but I'll tell you what let's start again there we go body isn't bad to, compared to a lot of ales it's quite smooth and creamy in your mouth maybe that's the head giving that effect but it is quite smooth and creamy or gives you that feel Mouth feels lovely. Bear with me, two ticks. Got bloody cat meowing outside. Bloody cats. Christ, I have one meowing to go out because I've just fed them. And then the other one goes in and wants bloody feeding itself. And then that one wants to go out. Jesus Christ, pain in the ass. Where was I? Uh, yeah. As I said, uh, quite a nice body to the beer. Not overly heavy, but it, it, it's got a nice body to it. It's got a lovely mouthfeel because it's uh, it's got a smooth creaminess to it. I think the head gives most of that. Uh, but it has got a lovely bod uh, body and mouthfeel to it. Which you might think, oh, it doesn't mean much. But it's a big thing in a beer. All these factors come in. It 
you do get that typical sort of ale taste in there but you get a lovely toffee caramel taste in there as well uh that gives it a nice sweetness uh feels rich feels quite heavy as well and you've got that that typical sort of ale bitterness on the back end uh 5.6 percent i'm gonna say it's drinking even though you've got that sweetness in there i mean 5.6 percent isn't particularly huge in, in in terms of alcohol is it uh but it's it's drinking somewhere around there uh it's a cracking ale it really is a, a it's a traditional ale it's saying that you know we don't see enough of these around now not good ones anyway uh, and this has been probably been going for years and years and years and it's good it's good and they you know i'm 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 kind of guessing they haven't changed it uh and that's a good thing as well. Uh, so yeah, a cracking beer, like I say, 149 from Lidl's. I'll just go back to another point, actually. Uh, we go on about things in beer. Uh, Mouthfeel, body to it, aromas, taste, and all these, all these things add up to uh, making a good beer, really. Uh, it's not one specific thing that, that you love about it. Uh, and this is what makes the good ones for me. If they've got all this, if they smell nice, if they've got a good body, nice mouthfeel, really nice taste, the drinkability, this is very easy to drink as well. Very easy to drink. If it's got all them factors, it really does make the beer really good. Uh, it's not all about taste, the other parts. When all together, they, they really do enhance the beer. So, uh, yeah, it's great that this one does that. Makes it a really nice ale. So there you go. That's that. Sorry I waffled on, probably done some sh chatting some shit. Cracking beer. Uh, probably pick it up anywhere. Tesco's, Morrison's, Lidl's, Aldi's. It, it, and it's all going to be around that same price. So uh, if you've never had it, pick this one up and try it because... For me, it is one of the better ones. Uh, there's also another one, Brains Dark. Lovely drink. I thought that was really nice. 4.1%. Again, that's in Aldi. There's probably quite a few places you can pick it up. So, yeah, that's it. So, if you've had this before, feel free to let me know what you think. Uh, I'm not a big ale fan, but I do like an ale now and then. And I like it even more if it's done well. So, uh, that's it. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, nice to hear your kind words on my uh, sister doing the... Lower uh, Spartan Oktoberfest review. Uh, she's very much appreciative of them good comments. Uh, thanks for the comments as well on my sort of trial video on the scarily spicy stuff. I will do some more. Uh, some people want to see it by the looks of it. Not shitloads I've said, but some people want to see it. Uh, and if if it entertains you, me ending up with a art burn sweat pain a touch of the old ring sting in the morning well why not i like spicy food anyway so i'm willing to give it a go so that's it thanks for watching don't forget all the bnid idea all the bnid idea on youtube facebook all the bnid idea one on twitter and instagram and thanks for watching and i'll be back again for another beer review very soon cheers